Hi everyone and welcome to I Smash Phone. Today we're going to give you two for the price of one. You've already seen our review on some flats Poppy Jump, but Poppy has two more adventures. First one we'll take a look at is called Poppy Pole. The object of this game is to keep Poppy, who's on a pole, even though it makes him look more like a lollipop, you have to keep him balanced while avoiding spikes but eating cheeseburgers. Now this game does have a pause option in which you can either resume, adjust the sound, or go back to the title screen. Oh. And just like Poppy Jump, you can submit your score But that will open up another browser window in Safari. Next game we'll be taking a look at is called Poppy River. Poppy River relies upon the accelerometer. So if you go in the options, you can calibrate to the setting you wish. In Pappy River, you just have to help Pappy navigate through a river. It gets quicker. It turns more jagged. He looks so carefree floating down that river. Even as he gets hit, it doesn't phase him. And again, you have the option to pause. And you can also submit your score, much like Poppy Pole and Poppy Jump. And again, that will open up in a new browser window. Now, one thing with both these Poppy games is they do have their uh, sound effects, their little beeps and the go at the beginning of each game. But the developers are looking into... Uh, looking into allowing users to play their iPod as they play as they play the games. So it's something that is in the works and eventually you'll be able to add your own soundtrack to Poppy's Adventures while you play. Now the Sunflat Poppy games are very simplistic but they're also a lot of fun and they're even endearing. It's simple yet it's something that you can you can occupy yourself with for uh for uh an hour or so if you're waiting for the bus or just looking to kill some time. Poppy Pole and Poppy River are both available for free in the App Store. Thank you very much for tuning in to iSmash Phone.